They are, though time will tell if the fire is rekindled. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You speak with some sadness. Has your time here always been tragic? There have been tears, but also great passions. Love, foolishness, regret. Yet, is that not all lives? The best lived of them? And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year, full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah, it must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. Rollo!
please. I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rollo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! We found your camp, Day! The friends are all trussed up! No one's out here now! Come quietly or die! Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avo of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. This place is heavily guarded. Worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. 
Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. Nordic, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting, and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. I have what I need for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo. Gerhild, is it? I. Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rollo's favorite. Lordic accused you of treachery. He saw you with a Saxon. Lork? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. That's all for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two... Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lorg did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Lorg saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Lorg said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Lorg betrayed you. Lies! And curse you, boy! For letting this outsider sway your heart! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. He served my father, but he always thought me a callow lackbeard. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. I told you I was loyal. How dare you doubt me? Forgive me, Geralt. But even now, there are some who will. You should make yourself scarce for a while. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. Let's you and I go take a look, shall we? I'm sorry that you... Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. men, caged like plump hens.
you, my friend. Let's give the Ravens a feast of Saxon blood! May Fenrir gnaw on your bones! Send it! <laughs> to get on the other side. men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Stop right there. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, raven feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester. On the night of the Lammas Festival.
How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Lork's death hit hard. Many served long with him and relished his tales of warriors lost and battles won. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Yes, I agree. They used to sacrifice John Barleycorn, so that his seed might fall on the fertile land and grow the grain anew. I don't care for that pagan pomp. There is just one god now, and he gives us everything we need. In this life and the next. Saxon dogs! The Lady of Essex is ours! Ah. Essex is ours! Fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend! Oh, I shall faint from the sheer horror of it all! Watch for my lead! Uh, the thrill of the chase! <laughs> we watch it to the spot! <laughs>
enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Who assigned those guards to you? Yes, you noticed as well. That was Thane Adred. He insisted. He does worry for me so. Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted no! to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. It is done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate. Let's get you some mead. Beerstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Beerston. No doubt he's hunting again. A ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. Then he is stopped by us mere mortals. What lies ahead, I wonder? A new life, or an old life renewed. My old life, Frankia. Mon Dieu, I feel as if I have been sleepwalking these past years, waiting for something to shake me awake. Are you awakened now? Yes. These past weeks have been stirring, breathtaking. Your passion and strength. Eivor, I've never met such a burning soul. You make too much of it. All I've done, I did for my clan and the glory it brought me. Why does your honesty make you more alluring still? Le cœur a ses raisons que la raison ne connaît point. Did you dream while you sleepwalked? I did. I dreamed that all my fleeting happiness was a prelude to something bigger. Glimpses of greater joy, greater love. Lie with me, Eivor, under the stars of England. Give me a last bittersweet moment before I leave her shores. I'll be with you tonight. But tomorrow your new life must begin. I hope you won't look back. Shh. Still your lips. And come here.
Go, Zulin. Yeah. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt. What are we hunting now? Boar. A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong-armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebold. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? If this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more day. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. won't fill itself. Look at that fat hog. He'll make a delicious roast. My bow arm aches. We did well, Abel. A good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. <laughs> 